What's up, my dudes? We got X Won't Be Part 2018 made by Jose Eduardo 317. Uh, hopefully, I said your name right. Uh, that's definitely a tricky one there. So, this is pretty much a stock track revised here, I guess you would call it. And I apologize for my bike looking like completely blackened out here. I have no idea why it's actually doing that. It's got to be something going on with the the lighting or something on the track he's got a little bit jacked up but we'll just call this the shadow yamaha <laughs> so uh yeah so basically the traction feels like a newer track doesn't exactly feel like the you know the old school x Wombi park but um the jumps are definitely beefed up you know you're gonna have to be on it on a 450 to hit some of these jumps right here but it still kind of keeps that uh like x Wombi Park vibe feeling to it. It still kind of feels like the same track, but just a harder track. I mean, the decal is the same, trees are the same, skybox is the same, objects look pretty much the same. Everything looks exactly the same. The only thing that's different is kind of how the jumps are built, and I think the traction is different. It could just kind of have my mind tricked up here a little bit, but I'm pretty for sure the traction is different. You know, it doesn't feel like that stock track super slide traction effect to it um, but it might be i don't know sometimes it's hard to tell on these super flat tracks like this uh but i'm pretty for sure that jump right there <laughs> turned into a monster that puppy's like 120 foot or something like that uh, and that jump right there is a little bit bigger but yeah this is an interesting mm, idea here to go back into older tracks i've i've had this idea before obviously this is like a pretty I don't think it's like some kind of crazy new idea or anything. Uh, a lot of people have probably had this idea. It's just a matter of, I don't know if um, the x Wombi Park and some of those older tracks, I don't know how easily it is to actually get into the exact file of it. But like, for instance, whenever I very first made a track was in the demo of MX Simulator on the original x Wombi park like basically i just went in there put the editor in the game like put dash dash editor and i was in the demo and went in there and made like a, a super cross track over there off in the grass god dang uh golf course track over there uh that's basically the very first track i ever made in mx simulator um just to go in there and kind of test out how you could build the jumps and shit and that's what this track really reminds me of it's um but i'm i ended up making my little track where and i kind of did this a little bit it, it wasn't all in the grass like i would go in there and adjust the jumps on x Wombi park like i would make you know, some of the jumps a little bit bigger, some of them a little bit smaller, you know, kind of change, just keep the exact same layout. I didn't really mess around with decals or anything like that, but I just changed where the jumps and stuff were. Um, so this is definitely reminiscent of the, my very, very first track that I ever made. Um, very, very similar to this right here. So it's kind of interesting seeing that uh, in that kind of way. But yeah, it can definitely be a pretty hardcore track. Whoa, had a little... Uh, whip ski kind of got stuck in the air a little bit there couldn't really uh bring it back around had a little little bit too much speed not enough turn on it um but yeah it's definitely a uh, interesting little track design here not like there's been a ton of work put into it or anything i mean good lord like i'm saying <laughs> i made this without even doing hardly anything like i just i I, I didn't make this, but I made a track like this um, without hardly doing anything. You know, you don't really have to put your own decals in. You don't have to really mess with coding. All you're doing is the what I like to call the fun part of track building. That's pretty much all this guy did right here. He just messed around with the jump faces. He didn't really add, like, anything crazy here. So, um, but... Uh, I'm pretty for sure this layout is a little bit different. I don't think this whole like little section right here is even on the original X Wombi Park. I'm pretty sure it just like swoops back around the other way. So he did kind of add a whole nother little section here, if I'm not mistaken. But um, so I guess maybe he did play around with the decals a little bit. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, got a nice little triple right here. You can kind of jump it a little bit further than just the double. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to come in here. I just kind of thought it was something cool, kind of something different. Um, it's not like I can really give it a super review of any sort because like I'm saying, it's not like he 
really did a whole lot here. <laughs> it's not like, oh, I mean, it's kind of just like, it's almost like a revised, like, track. It's not even really this dude's track. You understand what I'm saying? It's like he made a, basically like an updated version of an original stock track that was already in the game. And everything looks pretty much identical. It's just the actual track itself has changed a little bit, the jump faces and stuff like that. So um, that jump right there does actually feel pretty similar, though. That's the one jump that I could tell is like almost the exact same. This jump right here, that's a little bit of a hook if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, you pretty much got to be on a 450, dude. I mean, you got to you gotta be on the gas from the corners to the jump faces on a 450 to be able to hit most of this stuff. So don't think you're going to be able to hop on here on like a 125 or some shit and try to, you know, huck this stuff. It's going to be pretty hard. You'd have to take the far out size and you'd have to rail it, just absolutely rail the shit out of the corner. And I still don't know if you'd be able to do it on some of these jumps because... Um, oh my god, that section right there, you can get to hitting that way too hard. Um, but like if you're on a 125, it could make it quite a bit more difficult because you're not going to get that like torque pull. Oh my god, this looks insane in third person, dude. <laughs> Look at this. I'm Mr. Shadow Boy now. Oh wow. That's bizarre that in third person it looks completely black. But when you're like in first person, it doesn't look totally black. I mean, you can actually see the blue on the fender a little bit. But uh, yeah, dog, <laughs> this is bizarre. He probably just had some problems within the, uh, you know, he like probably had the original X Wombi Park in there and then tried to like adjust the files on it and then put that in its own file. And he might have ran into some problems within all that. Uh, might have like caught a little bit of collateral damage on that where it uh, kind of jacked up his lighting somehow. I don't know. I've never seen this exact problem right here um, where it just like completely blackens out <laughs> the rider. Dude, uh, oh my God, just call me Nighthawk, bro. Like, oh wow, this is this is crazy. I've never seen something quite like this on uh, MX Simulator. And even like the tough blocks are darkened. The trees are still the same, but the tough blocks are darkened. The other uh, so like stock objects over there across the way are darkened too. Uh, totally blacked out, dude. But, uh, yeah, man, well, it's kind of cool. I hate to say it because I know it's like a ridiculous looking bug, but it looks kind of cool in the game. It's like you're some kind of shadow Yamaha boy or something. Like, it's pretty sick. But, yeah, not much more I can really say. Just uh, is what it is. I, I don't even know if I can really give this thing a rating. I don't even know. Like, uh, <laughs> it's going to be hard to do that. I mean, it's like it's kind of like I'm just reviewing x Wombi Park with bigger jumps on it, but... I don't know, like as far as the effort that was put in here, it's pretty much zilch in comparison to people making their own custom tracks from the ground up. Like this is pretty much nothing in comparison to that. But um, as far as just rating the track itself, I mean, a lot of this is just rating the original x Wombie Park in a certain sense. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. It's not just like rating just this track. A lot of it is coming from the original x Wombie Park. I did like this section right here, though. You can kind of get a cool little rhythm going through that. But um, just a little fun, something to mess around on for about 2.5 seconds and then realize uh, it's actually not all that crazy amount of, like, fun or anything. I mean, it's just cool. It's just a cool little thing. It's not something you're going to want to, you know, race all all year on or anything like that, I don't feel like. I think it's just just a uh, interesting idea that can definitely be uh, expanded upon and such in the future uh, with any of those older tracks. I think you can always go in there and remaster certain stuff. You just, um, Still keeps that kind of flat track vibe to it. Weird little rut that he added right there that does not, a uh, little inside rut that does not really feel like the other inside berms on this track. If you guys remember on a lot of these stock tracks, they pretty much just had like one inside berm in some corners but most of most of them had that like super flat track section kind of style to the corners on them but this section up here let's see like that right there that's kind of what the uh, original stock tracks were um yeah he beefed up this this little whoop section a little bit right here you can kind of do like a double triple through it instead of just rolling up through a couple of rollers there but um, still keeps the same feeling, just a little bit of different jumps. I wouldn't really call this like a remaster. This is more of just like, I, I don't know, just slight, slight change of the jump faces, basically. That's pretty much what it is. It's the same decal, same 
everything like i'm saying the traction might be a little bit different but it's really just like beefed up jumps x park 2018 edition that's pretty much what it is here so either way man appreciate you guys watching all the videos later dudes